This is the AMATE 2, a Heltec V3 a mesh testing device I designed and is slightly based off Mootsy's design from the H1. I used the inlay for the Heltec and the buttons because I really didn't want to do all the measurement to get a nice snug fit because Mootsy did it great already and so I used the inlay for the Heltec board everything else around it is from scratch so let's start uh, we have the Heltec V3 we have GPS the GTU7 uh, we have LED notification on the left side we have an on and off switch we have a belt clip and we also have 15 watts quick charging on the back in here on the back is a LiPo battery with 2300 milliamps you can of course attach uh, any antenna you want it cannot be wider than 11 millimeters but you should have plenty of selection of different antennas uh, we also have a rotary encoder of course for CAN messages as well when you switch it on you can hear that it also features a buzzer and what you just saw is the LED light bar that you can configure whenever uh, you get a message yeah, this one blinks and is really really well visible other than that let's see if we have a GPS connection already no satellites of now of course it needs a while um, it also features oh it's GPS is already working oh we got a uh, we got a set fix already five satellites altitude everything and when you press the button three times you can turn off GPS you don't need an extra switch for that GPS is disabled pressing three times again and it's on again this is done with a MOSFET on the Heltec board itself so you can see it's very slim lightweight has a nice metal belt clip and that's pretty much it um, runtime is easy over a whole day more than I would say even so it's a it's a Heltec it's very power hungry but you can still get easily um, over the whole day and longer if you want and with quick charging the original Heltec if you, you can still charge it here and you have still the, the, the possibility to connect it to PC and update the firmware that's everything working uh, when you charge it over the Heltec's internal charging uh, circuit it only charges with 300 milliamps and that is really slow and with the external quick charge um, I added here it's 15 watts so yeah it's five times faster charging on this one than compared to the original which on a Heltec device can be very handy if you wanna if you have time enough uh, you can still connect it here and charge it over the Heltec's internal battery uh, charging circuit that's not a problem but if you're in a hurry or just want to get it charged plug it in here and this baby is back to full capacity in no time well can't messages I already showed you you can select them with the rotary encoder and simply send it and that's pretty much it all the files and info you can find on my printables page um, if you have any questions you can message me of course on printables and well I guess that's it have fun building this and thanks for watching bye bye